Hi, my name is Richard Walters and in this demonstration we're going to look at custom fields. This covers a variety of custom fields including number, text, date and cost. These will now be looked at on the video. In this demonstration we're going to look at custom fields within Microsoft Project. Now, custom fields allow you to do extra control using fields within Microsoft Project. So here we're going to put an accountability column in using a certain field to say who's accountable for each task. So we've got a project that's all to do with recruitment of an engineer and the two principal people who are in control of this project are the engineer manager and the HR manager. So we're going to make these people accountable for the tasks and this, is, this will be the first custom field we'll create. This is going to use a lookup custom field. So I'm going to go to the project tab, properties section of the ribbon, custom fields, and there's lots of different types of custom fields. So there's text which we're about to use. We'll also use a number in this example. So this will just cover the basics of custom fields, but there will be a separate video on more advanced use of custom fields. So in this example, we'll go to text and we're going to rename text one. So there's lots of different text fields. So there's lots to choose from when you uh, want to create more than one type of text. So there's a, there's a good, good few of them. So we're just going to use text one and we're going to rename it. We'll call it accountability. And I'm going to create a lookup. And this is all about overwriting the, the field itself, the text one. So I'll click OK and click the lookup again. Now it's just a matter of, of typing who you want to be accountable. So I'm with the engineering manager. And the second person I want is the HR manager. They're the two that I want. Nothing left to do now in this uh, particular area. So I'm going to close it down. And again, it's saying you're going to overwrite and update the field itself. So I'm going to say yes to that with the OK button. And now you decide what kind of values you want to display. So in this case, it's text. So I'd want uh, data. For graphical indicators, that's more visual images. So we'll also have an example of this one. But we're starting with data. So I'm going to click OK. And now we're going to use that field. So to insert it, it's, it's like you insert a column. Um, so I'm going to insert a column between the percentage complete and duration. So I'm going to click on duration. I'm going to right click. And I'm going to use insert column. And here's my accountability. And if I couldn't find it at the top of my list, I could scroll down to the text section. And I'll see it again underneath text. So either way of finding it works, I'll click in the text section for this example. Now I'm going to choose who's accountable. So I'm going to say it's the HR manager is the main person for the whole of the project. And I can widen the column. And I'll say for the design job spec, that's the engineer manager's responsibility. And all the rest are going to be the HR manager. So I'll choose the HR manager once. And then I can copy down with a copy cross like Excel. And there's the HR manager account for multiple times. So that's one example of a custom field. I'm now going to use another example according to percentage completion. So we're going to put different percentage completions against different controls. So what we're going to say in this example is if there's a situation where the percentage complete is less than, we'll say 40%, it's going to go red. Then the next boundary is up to 70. That will go a yellow color or an orangey color. And any, anything above 70 will go green. So we'll say 40 is going to be red. Up to 70 then will be a yellow or orangey color. And anything that's greater than 70 will, will be green. So the second custom field now. So same idea again. Project tab, custom fields. This time it's a number section. You do get used to these types the more you do it. So number, because this is where the percentage complete is going to come from. I'm going to rename it and call it percentage complete control. I'm now going to 
do a little formula in this example. So formulas already selected. I'm just going to click formula. And I'm going to use a field. And the field I'm going to use is percentage complete. So I've added it to my control area. I'm going to click OK. It's going to overwrite the field for number one. It's fine. So there it is at present. I now need to select well, what I want to do with it. Well, I want color control in this example, and that is graphical indicators. So I'm going to select it now. So we're going to say anything that is, we'll say less than or equal to 40 is going to be a red color. So there's lots of little graphics. So I'll pick a red. Anything that is, again, less than or equal to, we'll say 70. And that, this type in means percentage. And that will be, I'll go for a little square. So you can use different options. And I think I'll change the image to a square at the top as well. To keep it more under control. Okay, and the last one. We'll do greater than is greater than 70. And in this case, we'll choose that's going to be a green. So we've got our red, our orangey color, and a green according to different settings. I'm going to click OK. OK again. Now I'm going to insert the custom field for percentage complete control. So I'll put it after accountability before duration. And here it is, the number field. They're all red at the minute because they're 0%. So I'll just test this out. I'll put the second one percentage to 40% complete. That should still change red, which it has. If I do another one, I'll do send out job packs. This percentage, I'll make that 60. That should go to a yellow color or the orangey color that has. And anything greater than 70%, so I'll just use first interview in this example to type it and change to 80. And there we go. There's the different colors working. So we can see the reds working for anything that's less than or equal to 40%. Then the orange for anything that is greater than 40%, but less than or equal to 70%. And finally, the green for anything that is above 70%. So this is the kind of way you can control project through different kind of indicators, whether it be the example of a lookup field for the accountability or color coding for percentage complete control. But this completes the demonstration on the, the basics of custom fields. And there will be another video demonstration on custom fields with uh, a more advanced way of working. This now completes the demonstration on custom fields and custom fields like number, date, duration. See you in the next video.